All right. This here is my grandma's house. My grandfather bought this back in the 60s, late 60s. So they've had this place 40 something years. Now when they bought the place, um, all this land is theirs that you're looking at here, this driveway here. Um, when they bought the place, um, the guy that lived here at the top of the hill never drove his vehicle up there, hardly ever. He was a guy named Gene, he was a cool dude. He had a garage down there that he parked his, uh, he parked his uh, vehicles at and he drove a snowmobile on a four-wheeler up there. Now my grandma invested thousands of dollars in gravel that's all gone from here now. And um, what happened was the guy that lived here when they got the place was a cool dude. They were good neighbors and friends. And um, they never had to have any issues with them. But um, on the deed, if you look at the deed, the their driveway is supposed to turn right here where this pole is. It's supposed to turn and come down to the road here. All right? So they saved him thousands of dollars by not making him invest in that um, because, you know, they were neighborly, but they were different people. Now, um, since then, that guy has moved and so the property's been parceled off. There's actually another entrance for the property on the other side of the hill over there that they uh, don't want to use. Um, my grandma actually um, has, you know, all this property here is hers. And she's been being bullied by uh, some people that moved up there um, to the extent that it, it's aggravating her and uh, it's, you know, negatively affecting her health. Now she's been served uh, by some other people that are moving up there because they didn't nip this in the bud. See this? See where that gate is? That's where it's supposed to start turning to go out to the road. If you look at the deed, if you look at the uh, parcel, um, this this is not a common easeway. This is this is her property okay and now they want to tell her that she's got to pull up all her little pine trees over here because they're just going to use this easeway here um, they're going to use it as an easeway this is her front yard well she sold part of her land to her daughter my aunt who lives up the hill there's a driveway right there at the end of these little pines um, so now part of that property is hers right but this bullying has been going on. It's a uh, more of a wintertime thing where um, they're uh, causing problems with the snow removal. And um, they have snowmobilers coming through here 2, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. My grandma used to be able to have a decorative uh, median to her driveway here that now she can't have there anymore um, because of other people snowmobiling on her property. Because, you know, I wanted to address the bullying issue of the people that moved in. <laughs> because. Exercise down, took off. Oh. <laughs> this is my grandma, Margaret Chipani. We're walking on her property, her hill here. I was just talking to you all about where the, uh, where the hill was supposed to turn, but they had a good neighbor back then, so it was never an issue to make him go ahead and invest in having his driveway properly installed. And I'm, I'm taking uh, I got the court because this gate, I had a, a metal one with metal posts. Yeah, they must must with their gate. Okay, this this is we're still walking on on her property here, but um, this is this is treated like someone else's property like you know they treat this like it's their property they they use it like it's their driveway which you know been being nice about it for years but uh there's like a bullying issue with his now vehicles late at night cruising through her front yard real slow peeling out the snowmobilers in the winter time um they're always out there it's kind of spooky i was here for an incident or two of that Okay. Goes all the way up there to that stump. Okay, that stump marks. Right that stump marks where I had it wrong. I gave them a whole lot more than they had coming. That stump marks where the driveway is supposed to turn for these guys. 
if they want to use a driveway that goes to the road. So they actually, they have, they have money to invest of their own that they should be investing instead of wanting to go down this hill into, you know, this lady's front yard. This is this lady, this lady lives at the foot of this hill. That's her, that's her property down there. She, she, she's she been nice, but she's been being nice. She lets them use it. And, you know, it's like she's being taken advantage of now and told that she has to clear out more of her yard. One of those things where you give an inch and they take a mile. That's what's happening here. Okay, we're standing at the top of Margaret Chifani's property line. It's at, at the very where her line is. You can see. And like I said, at one time the road was straight. Is this also the same guy um, that you saw coming out of here with uh, wagon loads of uh, trees? Yeah. Uh, um, cut down Not trees. The top of the hill. What is beyond here? Uh, yeah, the one that, the one, the young guy that's been bullying you. Okay, yeah. Um, this has been going on for some time. Right. It's supposed to be gravel one. It's like a dust bowl when you go up the hill. Right, yeah, it's like her gravel from the foot of the driveway that she had laid is all gone. I addressed that in the previous, uh, segment. And, uh, this property has been in the Chifani family for 41 years now. She got it in 70, 71. And, uh, you know, they had a good neighbor back then, so it was not an issue of, you know, gonna make them install a driveway. Was, you know, his driveway would have had to go down onto his garage that I pointed it out to y'all. It was down there on the road. He had a garage where he parked his car. Yeah, he actually, he owned the hill. And he moved out and it got parceled out. And there's a parcel where there's a driveway leads from the other side, but they haven't invested in finishing their driveway. Now, in the winter time, actually, for the kids getting on the bus, they should come down this hill and get on the bus here on this flat segment because it will cause an accident for the bus to stop at their driveway down on the curve because um, it's a hill and a curve. But um, as far as their vehicles, they should have already made arrangements for their driveway. Um, on the other side that they haven't and then you try to be nice and you don't say nothing about it and let time pass and time pass and um, then it comes down and we're okay we're, we're still on we're on her property right now uh, you get to the foot of the hill there beyond the van that's her property too and they have told her that she's got to take those trees out and l allow them to use that as a driveway to to uh, be able to pull out there to check their mail, they actually put their mailbox in the wrong spot. They put it, they put it over there uh, next to my aunt's mailbox. Okay, so it's like they got the wrong number mailbox in the wrong spot, and they want to, they want to take this. From the woman Lake that owned the property that Scott has. That's quite a ways up the hill. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's like you see how far up her property stretches. And she, you know, stays down here and minds her own business. Um, this guy has uh, tried to push his way into her house with a beer can in his hand, uh, with no shirt on, half drunk before, scared her. Um, I remember that story. And uh, she used to be able to have her little gravel and stuff here in the driveway that's all gone this is all like you know when it when it rains it's all muddy now and the dirt that was on the road up, up there okay and in the winter time he created an issue where she contracted this lady here contracted to have her portion snow plowed out now the young guy comes down a hill and tells the snow plow guy that he's got a snow plow more or a you know something else yeah he didn't ask the guy well how much are you putting in on this he just uh he he does the additional work and puts it on her bill and it wasn't even for her she didn't need all that she just needed to be able to pull her vehicle right there in and out okay now we didn't have all these problems before um you know these people moved up here um that hill wasn't even open um we didn't have the snowmobiling in the winter time coming down it um, we just would plow out straight up and down 
to the trailer and back. Okay, but you see how this is her property, and this is what they're talking about. She's got to clear out her pine trees, and she's not allowed to have this little segment of her front yard now. And they drove her, they drove her snowplow bill up, having the snow pushed over there when she just needed a little bit pushed over here. Um, that's still she's still battling that. But then she uh, she started decorating her yard. They've also had issues with her stones, telling her she had to do something about her stones so that they could snowmobile through here or something like that. I forgot what that was. But they've been antagonizing this old woman over her property lines for um, years now. And, uh, you know, I haven't been saying anything about it. I've just stood back and watched. And, uh, you know, now she needs legal help because now they want her front yard so that they can go over and check their mailbox that's in the wrong spot. Okay, their mailbox should be way down the road, right, right down there, <laughs> where their driveway should come out. Okay. Now they don't understand this because they probably never looked at the deed. And one one problem she has is that the one the one kid thinks he's above the law. He's not a kid. He's he's probably in his thirties now. But uh he thinks he's above the law because he's got a cop for a buddy, a local cop. And uh it makes him feel like he's above the law. Okay? So my grandma needs uh she needs a judge or a lawyer buddy who doesn't like the thought of elderly people being bullied on their own property. This is quite a ways from any city, Boyne City's that way by like seven, eight miles, is it? Eight miles that way. And uh, Deer Lake's down there. 32's up that way. And, uh, you know, I'd like to uh, rally some support for Margaret here. Because, you know, we've been sharing this hill for a long time, and she didn't have to. Um, I got a from the lake. I got a letter from Bill, where he said he paid a lawyer $2,000 that was not to be used. Right, it's like she's had um, decent people who lived here before that stood up for her rights that are gone now. And now, it's like this lady has been thrown to the wolves, and they're circling like vultures. They're swooping in um, on her property. She should be able to put a guardrail there. <laughs> you know, theoretically, a cement guardrail um, or something to keep people off of her property. Um, all the way, you know, all the way up further than that gate. I mean, the gate tells you how far down um, she was sharing before. Um, and it's like, uh, granted, they'd have to come down some under her property to get the slope right to come out to the road. But they still should uh, invest in their own driveway that doesn't come into somebody else's yard. Um, because the driveway from that gate down is in somebody else's front yard. Okay, now how would you feel if somebody just decided they're going to go driving through your front yard every day? They're going to use it for their driveway, all right? And that's what's been happening here to this lady for years. Nobody's addressed it. Now it's escalated where now they feel like they have the legal right. I don't know if they, you know, got friends in the county clerk or a judge as their buddy or what. They feel like they've got the legal right now to take this piece of property already using this um, a borderline mutual consent <laughs> right it's like we'd rather they not that they get their own driveway you know so that they don't have to be down here but you know now it's escalated to okay I want more than my inch give me your yard for real alright so this is 5266 Cortez Road in um, Boyne City Margaret Schifani, um, if you want to help her out, um, stop in or send her a letter. <laughs> All right, this is the driveway here, the Schifani driveway, 5266 Cortez Road. I'm going to show you how far over 
their property line really is the, where their driveway should come out. <laughs> and it's almost like ridiculous that somebody has the audacity to send you a registered letter that they're going to use your front yard for their driveway. To get a running start up a hill that is your hill, <laughs> halfway up, more than halfway up, you know, that you're being nice enough to let them use. And it's like, you know, she was telling me just now on her driveway about how in the summertime it's motorcycles now, you know, that the loud vehicles late at night, <laughs> you know, all the stuff to try and antagonize an elderly person. I remember driving my dirt bike all around on this hill when I was a kid. And all of this was just short little uh, pine trees because it was an old abandoned uh, Christmas tree farm. And the trees were still tiny at the time. There were no houses over there at all. Back in the 70s, it's like, just, just got populated quick. Okay, but here's Gene's old garage. Right here. And right here is where... Okay, straight up this hill is where her her property line is. The uh, up to the uh, up to that stump we walked up to. Okay, but here's Gene's garage. It was a two-car garage. He'd park his truck in here and grab his four-wheeler if it was summertime, snowmobile wintertime. Sometimes he'd drive his truck up there, but usually he parked down here and he drove one of his vehicles up the hill. See, now look how far down my grandma's driveway is. Okay. Now. Quite a distance, huh? They have another driveway for the parcel that gets sold on the back of the hill. Um, that comes out down there around the curb. That's why I suggested the kids should still meet the bus over here on this side of the hill. Because it's a blind curve down there. Eventually someone would get hurt. Do the sign. Okay. The mailbox. Uh, the bus mailbox matches the address of the property. Thousands of dollars of gravel from here. 